Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a rope bridge with Reactor from 3D Max. The end result will be looking something similar like this. Simple rope bridge, some objects falling onto it and a really cool dynamic rope system that handles everything. Yeah, that looks really cool. So let's get started. You can download this starting scene as well as the ending scene with the animation from our website visualnights.com. So we have this simple scene. We have these two uh, plates that are between the, well, what should I call them, the anchors. And these plates are going to form the, the, the steps of the row bridge itself. We're going to switch to front view by pressing F. And we're going to create a line. Now, I've been struggling with this for quite some time now, and I finally found out what I did wrong. What I did first was I would create one entire rope for the entire section. But that didn't work, because I got a lot of problems with the rope uh, friggling and, and squabbling always around, and, well, it just didn't work. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create, for every section, a new rope. That's one. Oh, that's one. And there we go again. Of course, a rope has a rope bridge has ropes on both sides, so we're going to copy those ropes to the other sides as well. Pressing Shift. All right. The original rope should be inside the objects, the plates, and the anchors. All right. Now that we have our ropes selected, we should add some reactor properties. I'm going to add a uh, rigid body collection. And in this rigid body collection, I'm going to add every box, every plate, and the anchors, not the lines. Done that. Select all your ropes. Oh, not those or your ropes and apply the rope modifier. That's done. Every rope now has a rope modifier added to it. Now we're going to create a rope collection. And in this rope collection we're going to just go and add all these six lines which are now have a rope collection added to it. The these stepping plates, well they should have a mess otherwise they just keep uh, static in the air. We need them to fall down, of course, a little bit, otherwise, we won't have a really um, a nice dynamic bridge. So, we're going to set the mass to 10. Alright. Of course, if I would uh, preview the animation now, our ropes would just fall down because we haven't attached them to the objects. But this can take quite some time now, and I'm going to display what I'm, I'm going, to, uh, going to show you how I do that with one. Uh, one side of the rope. I'm not going to show you everything. Select your first rope. Click on vertex. See these two blue vertexes here. Select one and click on attach to rigid body. Click on none. And click on the first anchor on the left where you should attach the rope to. And click on this white field here. It's really important that you do that. As you can see we have this vertex turning yellow. Uh, be sure that it really does turn yellow. If it doesn't, uh, you did something wrong and you can really screw this entire project up. So, the yellow vertice, keep that in mind. Repeat the step for the next vertice. Also attach to rigid body. Select it. Click on none. And this time we're going to say, uh, choose the first stepping plate, as I call it. Click once again in that wide field. Oh, and yes, this, is, this one is also yellow. Um, we're going to repeat this, those steps for all these six the ropes. Um, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit so we don't waste any more of the time on doing so. Alright, I have every rope now attached to an object. Now, we go to the preview animation and we'll see what the object now really does. As you can see, we already have a pretty much cool effect going on here. The rope. Um, goes a little bit down but still is being attached to the anchors on left and right side. Now we want to tweak a little bit 
of the dynamic uh, dynamics here because the row is still a bit flingy it, it just flings every every way around um, we're going to change the air resistance we're going to set that to one and we need to do that for every row once we've done that you'll see that the bridge itself is way more uh, or actually less flexible and is more robust and, and, and stable It now doesn't move anymore as much as it did before. You can click on Update Max if you want to, but we're just going to leave it that way. Now, to really test this kind of road bridge, you should add some objects here that just fall down like I did. Uh, once again, you can download this starting and final scene from uh, from our website, visualnights.com. As you can see, we have these dynamics and objects falling onto them. Shouldn't really be a problem. If you have any problems or questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask us. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial about how to create a rope bridge. I hope to see you again, and goodbye.